May 1st, 2015 from Roosevelt University in Chicago, Illinois. It's the 2015 NFL Draft. With the 94th overall selection, the 30th pick in the third round, the Green Bay Packers select Ty Montgomery, the receiver from Stanford. The former Cardinal is 6 feet tall, 221 pounds, and in his four years at Stanford, he had 2,125 yards off of 172 receivers receptions that's an average of 12.4 he had 15 receiving touchdowns he also had 334 rushing yards and four rushing touchdowns so that's 2,459 yards from scrimmage and 19 touchdowns and in his senior year he had 604 yards off of 61 receptions and three touchdowns but in his junior year he also had 61 receptions, but for 958 yards, for an average of 15.7, and he had 10 touchdowns. So he was, uh, had a lot more big play capability, it seemed, in his junior year. He had over 1,000 yards from scrimmage in that year. His numbers dropped off a little bit in his senior year, but he has a lot of production, though, also in his uh, kick return game. As he had 2,493 yards kick returning off of 91 kick returns, three of which he returned for touchdowns. He also had 238 punt return yards, and he returned two punts for touchdowns. And in 2014, that's when he did return those two punts for touchdowns, and that's when all 238 of his punt return yards came off of his 12 punt returns. And his two of his kick return touchdowns were in 2013, and he had one in 2011. So he's definitely a threat from special team perspective. Let's look at his times at the combine. And at the 40-yard dash, he had a time of 4.55 seconds. His vertical jump was 40.5 inches. His broad jump was 121 inches. His three-cone drill, 6.97 seconds. His 20-yard shuttle time, 4.21 seconds. His 60-yard shuttle time, 11.57 seconds. So he's, I thought he had a pretty decent combine, but he's really a threat when it comes to his kick return ability and his punt return ability, and that's where you should see him on the field in 2015. He also was able to shave a little bit of time off of his 40-yard dash at his pro day, getting it down to 4.5. He said he's very strong, physical, a lot of lower body strength, and he's really good at those kick returns and punt returns. Of course, the Green Bay Packers have a lot of talent at receiver, so he's not going to be asked to necessarily come in and contribute right away to the receiving core, although he can do that in a limited role, probably you know as a fourth or fifth option. But where he will be getting on the field in 2015 will be in the special teams as he's a threat to take it to the house whenever the ball is in his hands especially on special teams, whether it be a kick or punt return. So I think this is an excellent pick for the Green Bay Packers. They have pretty good special teams, but they could use a guy like this for sure. And in the past, they have had some home run hitters, as they call them, even though obviously we know that's just, uh, you know, baseball's home runs. But that's just what we call them when they get a kick return. That's what I call them sometimes anyway. And he's kind of like a Desmond Howard, you know, not the tallest guy, but six feet tall. He's decently tall. He's kind of built more like a running back. He's got pretty big hands, too, at 10 inches and one eighth. So he's got, you know, big hands. Of course, he needs to work a little bit on his hands in terms of uh, his reliability from a catching standpoint. Like I said, he's a home run hitter when it comes to special teams. So that's where we should be seeing him making some Lambo leaps in 2015, returning kicks and punts. So I thought it was a good pick. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and have a great weekend and enjoy all the sports.